Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. We all know that indigenous engine has been a Achilles heel of Indian defense industry. At present India is heavily relying on US for engines powering its indigenous fighter jet be it Tejas MK1, 1A and upcoming fighters like Tejas MK2, MK and ZBF. Looking at the present geopolitical situation, US is not a trusted partner unlike Russia to rely on strategic military assets such as fighter jet engine. The Katsa card and arm twisting by US can cripple India's geopolitical decisions if we have dependency on them. Therefore, it is important that India do all it takes to attain the complete autonomy in turbofan engines, learning the lesson from China and their WS series of engine development. Last year in December, the French Defense Minister Florence Parley had visited India and had a meeting with her counterpart Sri Rajna Singh. Besides offering additional files, Barracuda class submarine, another major deal discussed was for the engine development. Post her visit, Sri Rajna Singh has informed that France has agreed to make an engine in India under a strategic partnership model. He further added that such an engine is currently not even being made in France. The engine will have next generation FADEC and low IR signature. If work starts on the engine development, we can expect a flight worthy 125 kN domestic engine in six years and another three, four years for flight testing. The new engine will power MK MK2 which will see the first flight around 2030 to 31 and will enter production by 2035. As we all might be aware that external affairs minister S. Shankar was on tour to France last week. During his visit, he also met French defense minister Florence Parley and the outcome of the meeting is a really exciting one. As reported by Hindustan Times, India and France are close of concluding a deal likely in the next couple of months for the joint development of a 125 kN engine for the indigenous 5th generation advanced medium combat aircraft MCA under development. The collaboration is between the DRDO and French engine maker Safran. The GTX 35BS Cavalry is an afterburning turbofan project developed by gas turbine research establishment GTRA Bengaluru. GTR's discovery effort may have failed to yield a usable fighter class low bypass after burning turbofan engine, but its core is being developed further and is quite usable and the learnings have been significant. The Kaveri engine in its present form uses directionally solidified plate technology, which is rather an old metal fusion technology and it could not tolerate the high temperature in its combustion chamber called Kabini. The solution was single crystal blades, which DRDO has recently mastered. The thirst generated by Kaveri was nearly 65 to 70% of what was needed. Further, there was performance decay at high altitude and a peculiar noise in after burning mode. The main reason why GTRE is still struggling with Kaveri engine is lack of expertise on modern low bypass turbofan engine. As for the latest update, all the issues with dry Kaveri engine have been now fixed. The Kaveri project was later divided into two categories, K9 and K10. The K9 will be completely indigenous with only foreign consultation and certification. The idea is to modify the existing Kaveri engine to generate more thrust. The K10 is going to be a joint venture with a foreign partner Safran or Rolls-Royce to develop entirely new engine. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.